Hi, I'm Hannah Riley from Bala Vinyasa Yoga, and this month's asana edit column is featuring scorpion pose, Vrishtakasana, and we'll be practicing it in handstand. So to enter handstand scorpion, you pick your favorite entrance into handstand, whether that's a one like a kick up or a pike or a press, and working that deep external rotation of the arms so that triceps turn back while continuing to press your knuckles down into the ground will be your foundation. So squeezing your arms towards each other will help give you the stability to make the back bend possible. The fingertips are a huge component in this pose. As your balance shifts and comes more overhead rather than just straight up and down, you'll have to practice and play with counterweighting yourself, heart enough forward and belly enough backward that you don't flip all the way over, and fingertips will really help you catch that balance. Then even though you're going into a back bend, which is this kind of action in the spine, keep enough lift of the rib cage in, even as you deepen the back bend, so that it doesn't all come right from the lower back, which is the most common, I'd say, pitfall or discomfort of this pose. And your feet don't have to touch your head by any means. Scorpion can still be three feet between your toes and your head. The important part of the back bend is that you're energized and strong, your legs are active, and the back bend is even, really even and balanced throughout the spine. So again, it doesn't fall where it's just most flexible. Externally rotating the arms. Start to look forward and reach your chest the same way you're looking. Extend your feet overhead, but keep the balance as even as you can in your spine. Then keep reaching, reaching through your legs and heart, and just let the knees easily bend. Keep using your fingertips and your toes, strong active hamstrings, to draw your head and your toes towards each other. Kick out and press back to down dog or eventually make that a vinyasa transition all the way over calmly and purposefully into full Uruva Dhanurasana. And here's a variation on the pose. I guess you could call it Ekapada Vrishchikasana. It's one-legged scorpion pose.